So if you guys remember yesterday, I took some photos and videos at a Christmas event. Well, today I took some time to look through some of those photos and some of them were good and honestly, some of them were not so great either. And today I want to talk about those not so great photos and maybe you have some not so great photos and how it's possible to turn something kind of like this with blown out highlights into something like this in Lightroom, which to me I think is a lot better looking. Let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's cue that intro. <laughs> And without further ado, let's get this Lightroom edit on the go. So I'm going to start that five minute countdown timer right now. And kind of the first thing that we want to do is recognize what format this photo is going to go in. And I know right off the bat this is going on Instagram, so I'm going to get it Instagram friendly. Generally I like 4 or 5 because that gets you the most surface area within Instagram. Um, and I'm going to do that while kind of maintaining this leaf overlay background, which is actually a shoot through um, photo with leaves in front. Uh, and kind of before we go further into, let's set the remove chromatic aberration setting um, just so we don't forget. And what I'm noticing here is the highlights are blown out. It's way too bright in this background right here. So let's fix that. I'm going to one first lower the overall exposure because it just looks really bright and it's kind of night so it makes more sense for it to be darker. Um, I'm going to then lower the highlights like as so and I'm also seeing you know a little noise and grain so the best way to hide it in kind of photos like this at night is in the blacks and the shadows. Um, so we could do that. I'm going to lower the blacks just a tad, as well as the shadows. Um, they're looking a little kind of, their clothes and stuff are a little too bright, so I'm going to bring down the whites along with that. And that's already looking a lot better. You get more detail in the back. Before we couldn't see, you know, the lines uh, in these bricks, but now we can. But it's definitely getting a lot better. Um, let's move on and add a little bit more contrast with the tone curve right here. I'm going to lower the shadows and the blacks and then raise up a little bit just a tad because they are already pretty bright um, just to add contrast to this photo. And there I'm liking that a lot. Uh, what we also want to do is these leaves, they look really dull and boring, so let's boost it up by warming up the image just a little bit. I'm going to move this temperature slider and warm it up, but not too much because we don't want to change the color of like, you know, the skin tone. We just always got to be mindful of that. That's still good. Um, we also want to boost the clarity just to get, you know, things kind of more uh, defined and all that. Uh, so that's looking a lot better. What I want to do also is introduce a little bit more saturation in those reds and oranges by playing around with the sliders down here. That's looking really good. I'm thinking also taking this brush and kind of warming up uh, these leaves. You can isolate those areas by doing that. Let's see what this looks like with this one. Yeah, that's looking good. So I'm gonna repeat it over here, as well as over here. And finally, over there. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Uh, one last thing I'm thinking is it looks a little distracting with all these people kind of right here um, visible so I want to hide them a little bit in the dark so our eyes focus mainly you know on the band members here I'm going to take this gradient uh, and kind of just run it right here lower the blacks 
and maybe the exposure too. Kind of like that, but I don't want to get rid of those leaves. Essentially, let's try shadows. That's a little too much. I think right there should be good. And then we'll try and brighten those up to make up for it. I'm not sure too much exposure. Plaques down, kind of like that. And then also let's remove clarity, kind of like that. There we go. That's looking, you know, a lot better and our eyes are centering more on those band members. So I see that's good. We're just gonna brighten up this leaf just a tad more. Uh, let's boost the exposure there. And we're almost out of time and yeah, no, that definitely looks a lot better. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think, but we are just about out of time. And here, let's take a look, you know, at the before and after. So before over here, after over here, and you know, just right away, you know, we could see a lot more detail in that background. Here, it looks, you know, pretty much blown out, but we were able, you know, to play around and take our time with it. And now we could see, you know, a lot more detail on those walls. The faces aren't bright, too bright anymore in these jeans. They're more kind of the proper skin tone. It just looks a lot better overall. And less distractions over here, as we could see, and kind of more focus on the actual subjects of our photo. So that's it for today let me know what you think in the comments below like this video if you want to see more like it and subscribe if you haven't already so you could be a part of the adventure and i'll see you guys next time all right good night bye i'm so tired I should just get in bed. No, no, I gotta finish this video. But I gotta get in bed. But I gotta finish the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. <laughs>